Good morning, everyone. This is Marshall Giller bringing you the morning comment for February 26th. Oil prices surged yesterday after Saudi oil minister, uh, whose name I won't even try to pronounce, said that demand is growing and the market has turned calm. Personally, I can't understand why people listen to him talk his book when the U.S. Department of Energy figures out the same day showed U.S. inventories soaring by twice what was expected. My guess is that it was simply a technical move, and as the oversupply still exists, I'd remain cautious. Nonetheless, it is true that gasoline prices have stopped falling in the U.S., and that sales of larger cars have taken off, so it may be that demand is starting to respond to prices. Uh, yesterday's uh, European news was fairly good. French consumer confidence rose and the number of job seekers fell. ECB chief economist Peter Pryat said uh, the, the ECB may raise its growth forecast, added to the acceleration in German GDP growth, and we may be in for a period of at least modest growth in the Eurozone. Given that the ECB is already implementing extraordinary easing measures, uh, the pickup in growth suggests the bank may be on hold for quite some time. That suggests slower movement in Eurodollar and even more focus on the Fed as a driver of currencies. As for today, during the European day, Eurozone M3 money supply is forecast to have accelerated a bit in January. The big question is whether total lending finally turns positive on a year-on-year -year basis. The bloc's final consumer confidence for February is due out. Also, German GFK uh, consumer confidence for March and unemployment rate for February are coming out. In the U.S., the headline CPI for January is expected to fall into deflation for the first time since October of 2009. On the other hand, the core CPI rate is expected to remain unchanged in pace, indicating that the fall in the headline figure is mostly caused by low energy prices. This isn't going to worry the Fed, uh, from what Fed Chair Yellen said in her testimony on Tuesday and Wednesday. Nonetheless, investors may focus on the drop in the CPI, which could weaken the dollar a bit. Now, durable goods orders for January are also coming out. The headline figure and durable goods excluding transportation equipment are both estimated to rebound from the previous month, uh, which could ameliorate the impact of a further slowing in inflation. Initial jobless claims for the weekend in February 21st are coming out. In Canada, CPI for January is expected to decelerate from the previous month and fall below the bank's lower boundary of its 1% uh, to 3% target range. This could keep the Canadian dollar under selling pressure. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at ironfx Global, wishing you Solid trading.